Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm uh, cleaning up a little bit. So I'm going to start just a little paper towel and fold it in half. And I'm going to put, I have two, trust me, they work fine if you just have one. Um, and I'm kind of, they're soaking, well not soaking wet, but not to the point where like they're dripping. But they are wet. Um, so I'm going to just kind of have that ready out there. I'm also going to have my stamp cleaner ready. Um, which I'm using this one lately. So I'm going to keep that aside so I could just, you know, um, even though these work fine with water, I just like to add a little to the center just so that it helps a little bit. And today... We're going to be making ephemera with stamps. Yay! Finally, right? And you guys, let me let me get you guys down. See, my cell phone's over there because I was watching a movie on my Netflix while I was um, scrapbooking. So I have my ephemera here. You guys already know how I store it because I have a previous video. Um. And I have way too much. I mean, if I look at the black, you guys can see this is sad. The plastic <laughs> doesn't even close anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be sorting through. I'm going to be making a pile. And you guys already know the first five people that request a little envelope filled with ephemera. Um, just comment below, same as we did last time. And uh, I'm going to get to share. I'm going to make some new ephemera using my stamps. I know last time we used our dies for it. So today we're going to be working on stamping some ephemera. And then I'm going to mix it. I'm going to share some of the ones I've made. Some of the ones I've recycled. And even some of the ones I've bought. It's just getting to the point where it's too much. I need to share with what I have. So... I'm going to sort through these probably once I'm done filming. I'm going to go get my inks. I only have a few inks here. I feel like we're going to start with the smallest butterfly because she turned out to be my favorite. So, okay. Now, you guys know that it wouldn't be true to my name if I didn't go through here and pull all my scraps first that I could use. Um, I should have cut these out. Maybe you guys get inspired. You know, if I give you stamp these, then you guys can just put your own colors just like this paper did. This is by Simple Stories. Bliss is the name of the collection. I was trying to remember it. Um, let's use that. And I'm going to fine paper that I could use to stamp some images and that's like a win-win situation you guys get to help me get rid of my scrap and I get to stamp some ephemera not only for you but for myself but let's just say for you so that I it's you know you guys are winning too so it just let me know um like I said sorting through this I'm gonna use what I have here and I'm just gonna make a ton of ephemera. My husband um, took the kids to jujitsu practice for me. So I basically have the evening to myself. Yay! He's so kind. Um, I feel like we could do something with that. Alright, you guys know I work it on my kitchen table, right? So I have to bring everything over. <laughs> Sorry, I just have all my colored inks here of what um, I wanted to do because I'm going to play around with the popsicle ones, but we're going to start with just the basic black. So I'm just, I didn't need to drop them. I didn't mean to drop them, so don't think that I did that on purpose. Just going to set those here on the side so I have everything ready. Man, I have too many stamps. Okay, 
So for these butterflies that I want to show you, I want to get started with the Altenew Dream Bay. Because, man, are they gorgeous. Um, we could do them on that paper. Let's do them on some basic white. I don't know how they're going to turn on on beige. So I'll leave that aside. We could do basic white. Um, oh, let's finish this one. We'll just stamp around it. Uh, move this. I'm going to move all of this, which is a big pile. Um, and I'm just going to put it right here under the camera. Okay, I'm going to clear this. This is going to be all my blacks. So I'm going to work on these in a little bit. And like I said, I have this big block. Because I was thinking that I wanted to do like, boom, like multiples all at once. But for this one, let's just start out with three little blocks. Um, I have them all here. I'm just going to get everything out. Because this should have been prepared, you guys. So I have these three. Dang so dirty i gotta clean my stuff <laughs> sorry <laughs> I'm like talking to myself and i'm like talking to you guys um we're gonna to save time right let's just save we're gonna do all this um so let's start with one piece of paper move that aside keep those here okay so i'm gonna use i have three inks archival ink jet black Tuxedo black and basic black from Stamping Up. I've been more and more kind of leaning to the Stamping Up ink pads collection. Um, I know you guys just saw all like these little ones, but I honestly feel like I'm not buying no more of those. And I'm just going to make an effort to save my money so that I can buy these. I don't know. I just like them. I've, this is what I started with when I started scrapbooking. So I think I'm just going to continue that. Um, of course, this is waterproof. We're not really doing anything that's waterproof. And my tuxedo black, although I do like it, I feel like it's wearing down and I need it by the refill. So we'll alternate. I think we'll start with this one. Um, and then... You know just like stamp away for this butterfly i am going to be using the umbrella crafts ink this one is teal and this one is mint um so the way we're going to do this we're going to create this little butterfly look how gorgeous she is and then i added some wink of stella clear glitter and can you guys see i mean hello isn't she gorgeous can you see sorry like oh, gorgeous gorgeous so this is gonna be the bigger piece and we're gonna go in so i'm gonna put them in order this way because we want the lighter to go on the outside of her wings and then the darker like towards the inside and i'm gonna keep this on the side just so that i'm gonna bring my little pad here and this is where I, this is how i work you guys i'm not even sure i wish i had like a disposable paper plate where i could just set myself on top but i don't have any so um we're just gonna get to stamping I really need to get the reinker or just let it go and stick to this one. You guys are going to be like, what a difference. Dang, did you guys see that? Like, look how black she is and look at the other ones. So, yeah, definitely, I just need to let it go. And um, I don't know if... If you guys are new to my channel and maybe you haven't noticed on my other video but oh, come on can you we focus Anna can we focus I think I'm gonna jack it up if I 
<gasps> I got it perfect. <laughs> That's amazing. Because I that rarely happens. Um, what was I gonna say? Because I just lost my train of thought. What was I gonna share with you guys? I had a story. I had a story. My dad wrote a story. Okay, you guys, I gotta entertain my dad, okay? Um, I wrote a, my dad wrote a story for me and he wants me to share it on YouTube. I checked that one up. And he, it's like for real, four pages long. Like he literally sat there and composed the story that he wants. Oh, can I focus? I'm not even gonna try to make it. Maybe I just need to clean it a little bit. Whoa, whoa, let me find a way to do this. This way. Um, what was I saying? Why do I always say what was I saying? Okay, should I go ahead and keep stamping? Let's see how she's gonna turn out on this marbly paper. Should I cut these out for you guys? Or should I just send you strips of paper to the five people that want an envelope? So you guys can cut them yourself. Hmm? If I have time, I'll try to cut them out for you. I think she's gonna look gorgeous on this one, on this paper. And honestly, she, this little butterfly was like the inspiration of why I was like, hey, I need to create some Mifima using my stamps. What else am I, what else can I do with them, you know? I was actually thinking that I need to pull out my stamps also. And a majority of people use stamps to um, to make cards, which is perfectly fine. But I was like thinking, I haven't done a scrapbook page with my stamps lately. So I need to really, when I have the time, crack down on it so I could get it done. Okay, I'm not going to have room for that. So I'm going to... Clean up my stamp. Um, move that. Let's bring the the light one first. So, see how she's gonna work. And these, I mean, you don't have to be perfect, but I kind of want it to be perfect. Where is her body? I just have to figure out. Why do I need a dress for a dress? Ah, oh, gorgeous. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Before we go any further, let me grab a pen and cross out the ones I jacked up. Uh, for sure this one. For sure this one. Mm, the wings on this one's a little blurry, but not much. Don't be hating if you get it. Don't be angry. Um, I think the rest are good. This one's a little blurry too, but it'll work, it'll work, you guys. Don't be so picky. Let's see. I lost track, but I'm not sure when my daddy sent me the letters, his story. It's a letter, like legit um via mail and i don't know what it is about but he's super excited because i told him i would do it you know he's my dad <laughs> i can't say no to him um so we'll see when they get here i have to read them first to just make sure it's an appropriate story you know um, he's like my dad's like the guy that always has like 
like believe it or not my parents are crafty in their own way like it's kind of weird because well it's not weird but they just I feel like that's obviously where I get my craftiness from like my mom uh, for Halloween used to make our own costumes like her own costumes sew them and I have a few pictures I should go find them and, sh and sh show you guys um, look how gorgeous they are I need to go find the picture and show you guys because um, my mom's always been super crafty also making her own things and she likes she is a whiz in the sewing machine I mean growing up part of it because we were poor she made our own clothes um, you know if like we had clothes that got ripped she would save the pieces that um, that were good still in good condition and she would make us something else with it and always making stuff go a little bit further hint 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 where I get my my <laughs> my stuff from and um, I kind of jacked up that side, so let me add a little ink in there. Uh, so she crafts a lot on her sewing machine. I think that's crafting, of course, as well. And I wish I had her talent. But you know how when you're like a teenager and you're like growing up, you think you know better than your parents? yeah that was me um my mom well there's four old i have six siblings well i'm one of them so in reality i have five siblings and i feel like this video is gonna be super long <laughs> maybe i'm only gonna get to do one this stamp as a butterfly but um what was I gonna say oh my mom had six kids and she always used to say okay like whenever she cooked this is just an example but whenever she cooked she would be like okay um of the girls who's gonna be cooking who's gonna help in the kitchen who's going to wash dishes who's gonna do this so we all had a job like set the table help with this somebody was like the cook or whatever i was always the kid that volunteered to clean up so I don't know how to cook like my mom cooks and now I wish I knew how to make some of the homemade stuff that she makes because it is so good and you don't get that you know like I keep thinking like like once that one's messed up too I mean it's kind of morbid that you can that I kind of think about that but like whenever the time comes for my mom to pass away like who's gonna inherit like her knowledge of like I mean she does crochet she does sewing she does um, so many things like that she's crafty she knows how to do like um what is that cross point is that what it's called point cross you know where you make designs with needle and stuff like I think it's called uh, cross point um, she knows how to make complete sweaters and baby outfits out of um crocheting and i don't i know the basics but i'm not knowledgeable and it doesn't come natural to me like my mom could just like see a pattern and she boom picks it up and she's on it and she gets it done whereas like i'm like <laughs> no I, like I know how to hold the needle in my hands and how to uh, you know like put the what is it is it it's not a ribbon but like the is it a ribbon I don't even know what it's called but I know how to hold the needle and how to make a basic chain you know the basic chain where you're like holding and then you grab the needle and like you pull it in and then go it through I know how to do that <laughs> but uh 
she is so talented and so I feel like I've never really taken advantage and because of the distance we don't live close to each other in order for me to and I set this aside in order for me to just be like okay mom teach me you know because normally like when I go to California to visit I want to like do things with them and you know and like have fun and take them places and I I don't know I just don't look how gorgeous she is turning out to be beautiful and it just comes natural and I feel like I don't know I wish I would have taken advantage when I was younger and when she wanted to teach me you know and I wouldn't listen or I didn't care then to learn and I do wish that I lived closer but this is where like our livelihood is you know um, there's been many times where I tell Mike like let's move because we're here in South Carolina and we don't have any family near us so we're always like lonely hence the reason why we're always doing <laughs> things with just the four of us um, and my husband's like, oh, I'm too old to go through the fire academy again because he's only certified in South Carolina. And I'm not sure if they take other people's, like, a, like he pretty much will have to get certified in another state to work as a firefighter in that area. So, and I mean, I have a good job here, you know, so it's like the lovely livelihood keeps us here but I do wish um, that we live closer to either of our family um, and like I said my dad is crafting it crafty in his own way as well he likes to build things and likes to um, compose things and write things and he's got a very creative mind um, so we are for this one we're gonna go over the because these are like more grade great graded graded these are super lighter let's just say it like that um, let's use the wing Castella to bring that ink a little bit darker and we'll just put like the wing Castella on the whole butterfly on these and for these ones I just plan to do it on the actual wings only so son I don't know if you guys know that or maybe you already do but that's like a neat trick to um, bring bring your color to radiate more I don't know is that the right way to say stuff Was that my last one? I think so. Oh no, well, I mean, I have these to do. Man, they are gorgeous. Um, I wonder how they're gonna look with another color. I haven't tried to make like any other color combinations like purples or, I mean, there are different variations, you know? So normally like if I like for example right here you see how I didn't put the initial first layer of the mint uh, stamp as close to the black I'm making sure that when I do the third the third layer which is this one where was I um, that I get to it as close as possible because this ink is darker so it's gonna cover you see it's going to cover the the white space. I said <laughs> I was like, "You guys, you guys see? See? <laughs> I didn't even give you time, sorry." I mean, even if you go in the black in the actual body of the of the butterfly, it won't show. So you are a okay to go. I feel like this is I'm just going to do this video, you guys. There's no way I've been talking so much. This is just going to be one video. And then I'll just do a second video. Fast forward through all the stamping or just quit talking. And put us some music. One more. 
Let me get it as close as possible because... Okay, so put that away. Um, I'm going to need to make more because uh, I want to make sure I have enough of these in your envelopes. Let's get the Wink of Stella in for here. Like I said, we're going to go and add it to the actual black part of the layout. I mean, not the layout, but the outskirts of the butterfly. So it hides our little ink, running out of ink. And then for the other ones, I'm going to do it over the blue. So basically, in each section of the wing. And that is going to be... I honestly feel like I've talked so much, you guys. I'm going to leave you guys here. Oops, I almost started on that one. Because I always feel like you guys are busy. Like, I'm sure there is something more important as a mom, as a crafting buddy, as a worker, as a daughter. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But I feel like I'm very conscious of not trying to make my videos super long. Because I feel like we're always busy and there's always something else we could be doing. <laughs> Listen, at least that's maybe I'm projecting how I am myself because that's how I feel. Like whenever um, I sit and watch YouTube, I'm like, man, like there's, I got to do this and I got to do that. And I can't be on YouTube too long. So I'm always very self-conscious about how long my videos are because... I feel like all of you guys have other things to be doing too. And who wants to sit here for an hour just listening to somebody talk? Well, there's been times I've watched like hour long videos. So who am I kidding? Okay, so I finished doing those four. And they do look better. So now I'm just going to go in and do the wings on the other ones. And then... Oh, guys, should I fussy cut them for you? I'm debating because I still have all the other ones to stamp. Um, these, we don't care. As long as they're, like, right in the wing area, we don't have to be as careful as if we were doing the edges. Right? See, like, I don't know. Like, I feel like my cumber conversation for this video went all over the place but hopefully you guys got the intended message what was it i have no idea <laughs> but, but oh the message is get out there and use your stamps like look to see what you could use what you already have save some money there's no need for you to go buy specific things or buy packages of ephemera, even though we all do it anyways, because you could definitely make your own. And, like I said, I'm going to try to make five envelopes. If I end up making a little bit more, I will let you guys know. I like to share my stuff. Hopefully you guys like my the stuff I make. We are done with this one. We have a glittery butterflies that could be, well, their intent is to be ephemera, but you can make anything. You could have them ready and use them in a card, scrap up page. I mean, that's what ephemera is basically. And like I said, some of it is gonna be handmade, well, by me. And then the envelopes are also going to be filled with some of the stuff that I already have. Um, like I said, stuff I bought, stuff I've made, stuff that I've recycled from other projects. I am going to leave you here, you guys, because this is taking way too long. I thought that I was going to just like boom, 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 and then do the other ones. But... I think this butterfly, because it's like multicolor, just took way too long. Um, and I blabbered too much. I mean, who, who am I kidding? 
I'm taking advantage that the kids are not here because sometimes, <laughs> well, okay, like you guys know that I work out on my kitchen table, right? And the kids make so much fun of me. Like sometimes like when I'm like at the center of the kitchen table, they could hear me talking and they're like, mom, like, why are you saying that? Mom, this, this and that. And I'm always like, I don't know. I just talk and talk and talk. So I'm just blabbering too much because the kids aren't here <laughs> and I have the house to myself. So it's nice, it's quiet. I mean, I do love my kids, don't get me wrong, but it's nice. I wonder if this is how it feels. Like, if I ever have my own craft room, I would never have my own craft room, though. I don't think I would want. I mean, part of me wants one, and then part of me is like, no. I want, like, a family room where I would have, um, like, my area in, like, a side like the family room has to be big enough maybe like a basement and then it would be open and i would have um of course mike in his xbox with my son and then me and adriana crafting and or a reading place for her because man that little girl loves to read she could get lost in a book she reads like if she really likes the book, she'll read the book in a week. Like she, so she wants her own little library. And she does have her own little bookcase in her room, but she wants like a whole library of her own where she could just have a sitting space and drink a hot chocolate or her favorite chocolate milk and just snack and read a book. So, um, you guys, I am going to, dang, I'm just leaving you in the middle of the conversation. <laughs> Sorry. I am going to sit here and I'm going to start fussy cutting some of these for you. I don't know how far I'll get. Um, if I don't get to fussy cutting them, then you're just probably honestly going to get like, like a strip like this. So that you guys can cut them yourselves and i'll just add that to the envelope something like that um but i'm gonna leave you here because i thought that this one was taking this butterfly took a little bit because it's really gorgeous i mean she wanted her own alone time and her own show time so we're gonna put her here fussy cut them i'm gonna let you guys go and then i'm gonna create a second part where i'm gonna be stamping just with the basic black and this one should run like super smooth probably the popsicles are gonna require their own time so i may have to do that as well so thank you so much for watching once again if you um are interested in receiving an envelope full of little ephemera um, just comment below there's no um, comment below and then you have to contact me um, at cheesy crafts at gmail and hopefully you guys like it um, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon bye